Hi everyone! Look, here's another video on the same day! Yes, as I told you, I was going to do a book review today, and I literally just finished this like a few milliseconds, seconds ago, because this is an interloan library borrow, so this is not from my usual library bur library, because I have a, uh, there's a bunch of different branches in my city, th like the two cities near me. So this came from a totally different branch totally different library system but because of interlibrary loan I can do this so to the book I just finished it is undead and unwed by Mary Janice Davidson this is if I know the terminology this is a trade pa uh, trade paperback or a trade back whatever you want to say it is because it's bigger than a traditional mass bound paperback where it'd be like about this much about that much, roughly. Yeah. So, okay. This is the first in the Betsy Johnson. This is her, Betsy Johnson. Or Elizabeth. Elizabeth no. Betsy. Elizabeth. Uh, Betsy. No. Because her name is Betsy Taylor. Well, Elizabeth Taylor. Well, Elizabeth Taylor Johnson. Something like that. Let me go on the website. I'll have the link below. It's called the Betsy Johnson. Something. Anyway. This is Betsy. And uh, at first, I was okay with this, like, for the first, I don't know, 10 chapters, roughly, because there's 38, yeah, is there, is there, no, there's 37 plus, plus, 37 plus an epilogue, so technically 28 chapters in here. And the first like 10 chapters, roughly, roughly the 10 first 10 chapters were okay. And it was a good kind of introduction to the story. Um, but for a good chunk, uh, let's say, where, where, okay. So from 24 to 28, we're just going to call it 28 since like literally there's, um, and we're going to say, okay, um, maybe not the last 10 chapters, wait, yeah, at least like, okay, so, where, where's the ending, there we go, okay, so these chapters here, like these are the first nine chapters, they're okay, it's a good introduction to the book. Then from about 10 to 24, uh, it was just like, nope, nope. I had a love-hate relationship, which is like, Mary's writing is very, it, did, it didn't flow smoothly. It was very choppy and all over the place and just like, I was not liking it. I was very much not liking it because it just went all over the place and was just ridiculously stupid. And, like, yeah, I'm saying like a lot. Um. the way Betsy would talk, or, like, she would have certain people talk, this is not including uh, Sinclair and his, his vampire clan tribe thing. That That's a whole other thing. So, it was Betsy and her friends, her friend Jessica, and this new friend she makes in the chapter. You expect that to happen anyway. So, anyway, all that talking was just... Okay, seriously, people don't talk like that. That just, it doesn't flow properly. Like a book, you want it to flow f flow properly. You don't want it to feel very choppy, especially when people are talking. It felt very choppy when I was reading it, and it was not cool. And then from 24 to 28, which was like eight chapters, It's, it finally started getting very good and very, like, excited and with sexes. Because, like, this is an adult romance. This, oh, sorry. Paranormal romance. That's what it is. Um, yeah. That's that the good stuff happened. And, like, I'm not really spoiling it because, like, it's the end of the book. That's, where do you expect all the good stuff to happen? <laughs> and that's where sex finally starts happening. But, yeah. I am not happy, like, I at first was not, I was going to say, like, okay, I do not want this. 
I was not going to be like, okay, when I was getting to that middle part, I was stating to myself, okay, I have a love-hate relationship with this book right now, and it's more to like, I am not going to buy this. I have such a love-hate relationship with this thing because I do not like the choppiness that's in it. Like, the middle of the book is where most of it is. And at the same time, I was like, why do I have such a uh, feelings about this book, yet I love, and then bought book six of this whole series? How does that work? How does that freaking work? And, like, literally, I thought the book I had, um, Undead and Uneasy, I thought that I was actually book two. No, it's book six in this entire series. Yeah. I don't know why. I did like the characters. The characters, I did like Betsy. But she just, she felt very much not the age she is, which I'm, get, I'm thinking, I can't, I don't know what it is. But it's like late, late 20s, early 30s. She might be, th I think she's like 30. Or she's like 20, 29. Or, or like maybe 31. Something along those lines. Somewhere between like 37 and like 33. Somewhere in that age gap she is. But she feels more like she's like 18. Like in her teens. Like her her late teens, like when you're in high school and then like just out of high school. It's... hold on, it's getting hot. And I'm just getting overheated because of all the feels that I have to tell you. Um, I liked her for the most part, but then, as I said, she just like, she had like, she had some of the bad choppy talkings, which is just like, ugh, aggravating my brain. And well, all in all, she was, she's a good character. Um, her friend Jessica, Whoa, I have never seen, I have never read or seen, like, in person or, like, watching it on the t on the sc TV screen. Such, like, wow. You're gonna have to read to find out why I have this reaction. It's just like, whoa. Whoa. But it works. And it works for this book, but at the same time, it's like, Whoa, this is a bit too much for me personally. And then I like the new friend that she makes. I'm not going to tell you a lot about that because that is like just after chapter 10, sort of. I think I think it's just after chapter 10 or chapter 9. But it gets into the part where it's a lot very choppy into a part where I do not like and that's a majority chunk of the book. Now I get to Sinclair. Yes, yes, he looks all hot yes i can ha like i want to boink his body literally that's the word that is in like the last chapters in, in, in like the last section of it it it's bo like she says boinking but yeah sinclair yes yes he's the type he he has been fashioned to be the type of man that you want to boink you want to boink hard apparently let's, let's see her it's just a lot safer than the scrumptious Sinclair, a seductive bloodsucker whose sexy gaze seems as dangerous as a stake through the heart. Yeah. But. Oh my gosh. He. I'm not spoiling about Sinclair because it's literally right here at the back of the book if you deigned her read that. And I already told you. But, okay. Oh my god. He does get better, okay? I, I, I don't like him throughout the main part of the book. He just, I do not like him very much. I find personally, like, and like literally, like literally she says this, he's a dick, okay? He's not like, he's just a dick. Yeah, he's just basically a dick. But he does get better because, you know, people, certain people, especially when you have to understand, he is definitely going to be a love interest for her. And especially, like, yeah. He, ha he has to get better, right? Right? I do like him eventually. But, for the most part, yeah. It, like, I do not even, I partially don't like him at the end anyway. But, oh wow. Just wow. And this, okay, and this power-hungry vampire that's apparently been alive for like five centuries. Badly, a badly dressed Bella Lugosi wannabe. He's a, he is a major dick. Major dick. Okay, 
a made they're made to dick. He's even a bigger dick than Sinclair. <laughs> I will eventually have this purchased. That is the end of it. Because yeah, I will eventually have this I well, okay. I probably will not purchase this myself. I will get my aunt to purchase this for me. We'll see. But this I definitely do have a love-hate relationship for this book. You will have to read it for yourself if you have not read this book. I find that you will probably most people will have will have a love-hate relationship with this book. If you are an avid reader and you read a lot a lot of different type of books and you do read this, you will have a love-hate relationship with this book because of the freaking choppiness right in the middle of the book. But at the same time you probably will like the hard time was like, I kind of want to buy this, but at the same time, I don't, like, yeah. And you don't have, if you don't want to buy this, definitely pick it up from the library like I did. It works. And it helps you decide. If you don't own this book and you've never read someone, like, this author, or if you've never read, like, a single book, but, like, an indi like a no like, a single novel, it's not a series or a multiple book. Libraries help, okay? Libraries definitely help. It so you don't waste your money. Definitely do recommend this book. You read it for those of you who do like romance and paranormal romance, like and anyone who uh, likes Christine Feehan. I can't believe she blurbed about it. She is my vampire queen. I love her. I love it. Like yes, she's supposed she's the prophesized queen. Her, her, this Betsy Betsy Taylor right here. Christine Feehan is my vampire queen. Hands down, she is my vampire queen. Because I love her dark Carpathian novels. Yeah. I recommend this book because I am just coming off like a love high at the moment. But if you had caught me maybe a little earlier, because like literally I spent like the last eight chapters at least. I was sitting here for eight chapters. Pretty much. And just... I've been loving it. But, earlier, I was having a bit of, like, a little tiny bit of a struggle because I was having such a hate relationship at that moment. Maybe not a hate, but a dislike because it's just freaking choppy. It just, just felt all over the place and it didn't feel smooth. I like the smoothness of it. Even if, like, we're going over here and over here, at least just keep, when we're in that place, it keep it smooth and just... Yeah. So yeah. Uh, leave a comment down below if you read it, if you liked it, if you agree with my th review about it, but being choppy and like you having a love-hate relationship about it. If you want to talk in depth, leave me a DM, like personal message, or like message me on like, I don't know if you can message people on face on YouTube anymore, like private message, or you can message me over on my uh, Facebook account, which I have a link down below, and yeah, if you liked this, like, animated review, hit the like button down over there, right there, and yeah, again, I just told you to leave comments and such, and if you liked this review, if you like my animated review, I sometimes get very animated, sometimes very subdued, and such, but if you liked this type of review going, hit the subscribe button over here by my picture. And you'll get more book reviews, hauls, unboxing, unbagging, alchemists, and, you know, soon, vlogs. Vlog? Vlogs. That's what I meant. I meant vlogs. So yeah, I'm gonna get going. I need to reduce some of the sunlight, some of this heat that's in my room. Okay, and I, um, need to get going on the, um, comic... Gra sorry, graphic novel reviews and manga and that stuff over there that I got from the library today. Hope you enjoyed this review, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye everyone. Okay, so I forgot to do a usual thing I do at the end of my video, and that is to show you what I'm reading next. So I have put, I, I just got way too enthusiastic about this book review, but anyway, I put the second book 
on hold of this series, and that is Undead and Unemployed. Yes, I have to get to book six because that's what I own. I'm still waiting on Blood Promise by Rochelle Mead so I can finish the freaking book, but I'm still waiting on it. It's insane why I'm still waiting on it. Anyway. And I'm still waiting for Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. So, while I'm waiting for stuff from the library, I will be continuing this. I will be continuing Days of Desire by Sarah Dawson. Yes, I'm still on it. But, where's the end of the chapter? I am literally going to be halfway through the first book. This is a, a two-book bind-up, because they were both like very short books. They're both 12, 12 chapters long, so I'm going to be halfway done the book because I am going to be I'm in the middle, somewhere in the middle of chapter six. So I will be continuing this. Hopefully, I can get this done soon because like this has been I I feel like I've been doing this for a while. The same thing with Blood Promise, like. I don't want to get into that because I want to redo a review on it and that stuff. So anyway, yeah, I need to add this. So yes, this is the book I will be continuing on to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs>